full application of the direct brake. One, two, Both brake cinders fully charged. Both bogies fully charged. Right, release the direct brake. Same test using the indirect brake. Full application. Same sort of reaction at the brake cinders. Same sort of timings, same pressures. Release the indirect brake. Brake pipe charges to five. Brakes released. Right now, next test, just do a simulation of making small applications as if you was driving along and you wanted to make a small application. So, first of all, use the direct brake. I'm going to put in small increments up to a bar in the um, brakes. Get a nice immediate reaction and nice and controllable. Got a bar in the brakes. Brakes held. Now, if this situation and the wheels were locked, I now want to release the brakes to get the wheels rolling again to make another brake attempt. So I'm going to push the brakes forward and the brakes come off within a matter of seconds. Now I'm going to repeat this test. I'm going to use the indirect brake. So I'm going to have a go at putting small increments of brake pressure in the indirect. I'm just going to go to the first notch to try and do a small application. Just put a small squirt of air in. Okay, so I've now got a bar of air in the brake. You can see I just dropped the brake pipe down by half a bar. I'm now going to release this brake. I'll, st I'll release it when the clock gets to 50 seconds. So we're locked. We're still locked. locked. So it's 18 seconds to get the one bar of air pressure out of the indirect brake. In 18 seconds at 60 mile an hour, with wheels locked, you'd travel quite a distance, leaving quite a fat. It's an uncontrolled movement. I'll repeat the test with a direct, put small steps in to get to a bar, get nice and controllable. Okay, and now we're going to release the brake. And you can see the wheels rolling again, and you can have another go. As soon as you sense the wheels have locked, you can go straight to release and get the wheels rolling again. It's something you don't get the option to do with the indirect brake. And release. And all this time that brake's in release, there's nothing the driver can do. They're a passenger. All the time the wheels are having life taken out of them. why manufacturers tell you to use the direct brake.